Top story tonight, Virginia's second largest school district is working to make sure the risks to student safety are as low as possible. And now Prince William County is discussing past safety efforts and potential reforms in the near future. Our Max Marcilla is live tonight from the Prince William County Public School headquarters. And Max, the county says it's made progress, but more needs to be done. Right, well, we first told you last week about one of the more visible safety proposals that would be to install screening sensors at the entrance of middle and high schools here in the county. Tonight, that plan was pitched to a wider group, and for the first time, you're about to hear from Prince William County's police chief on his thoughts of the idea. Prince William County decision makers said Wednesday night they're focusing on the mental and physical health of students and staff in the school system, something they say has benefited from expanded staffing of security assistants and school resource officers. But there are some worries, especially as two guns have already been recovered at county schools this year. I think that's scary to know that we have two guns in our school. I think what's more scary is we don't know uh, how many guns are actually in our schools. Because of that, Police Chief Peter Newsham endorsed a plan presented to the full group, first brought up by Superintendent Latanya McDade after a six-year-old shot their teacher in Newport News earlier this year. These are magnetometers in Charlotte Mecklenburg schools in North Carolina, which is not quite the same thing as a metal detector. PWCPS officials went down south to check them out and seem interested in implementing them here. We know it's necessary, we know it's needed, and we We've been hearing from, you know, families, from parents that are saying, you know, they, 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 they welcome this, right? Before they would, the district announced it's going to gauge interest from families. That could come as soon as next month with in-person demos. That will really inform um, what we will do by scale. The school division stresses these are different from metal detectors because everyone can walk through without taking out everyday items. Elected officials, they watched intently as a tutorial video was shown. Laptops, phones, keys, belts, none of those raise an alarm, but things like guns, gun parts, or not. Lives do. And then after that meeting wrapped up, we got a chance to speak one on one with Prince William County's police chief. He says he thinks it's a good idea because the two guns that were recovered are too, too many, hoping that these security sensors could crack down on that. And he also talked about the importance of school resource officers, thank the board for their commitment. You'll hear more from the police chief and another school board member on the idea tomorrow morning on DC News Now. Reporting live from Prince William County, Max Marcilla, DC News Now.